for living with Adrian. Nowadays, online dating is so common, we've all at least tried it or thought about it, and there are so many different sites. But with us today is Stephanie Alexander, our online dating expert, creator of WomanSavers.com. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, here's my one issue with online dating is if you have to resort to the internet to find a date, are you desperate? Are you the loser? <laughs> are you the big loser? Well, if you are, then I am because I met my partner online and uh, no, absolutely not. The internet increases your chances of meeting Mr. and Mrs. Wright, but it also increases your chances of meeting the wrong people. So if you screen properly, it can be a wonderful place to meet a great person. So you shouldn't be embarrassed by it at all is what you're saying? No, everybody's doing it. Every Everybody's doing it. Yeah. Well, now, how do you find the right site? I mean, there's there's Match.com, there's eHarmony, there's uh, we were just talking. The, there's the GoldDiggers.com, SugarDaddy.com. I mean. I would imagine it probably in the beginning it, it you have to figure out what it is you really want what it is from you it. want and what it is you enjoy now you've got so many options that if you're Jewish you can go to jdate if you've got a pet you can go to singleswithpets.com and there there's just so many options you pick what you feel comfortable with what you enjoy and you'll find a partner that enjoys the same things are there things about sites that you should look for or not look for you know I know uh, with eHarmony the commercials that run uh, uh, you have to go through the whole screening process in the testing system, whereas Match.com is totally different. So is there one that's more successful than another? No, I don't think so. Uh, eHarmony has a long questionnaire that, that they put you through, which I failed, by the way. You do? <laughs> yes. You really are. Yes, there's there's a, a, a small percentage that Did you failed. really? Yes, I did. And well, what, what website did you use? I used Match.com. You the, did? Uh-huh, yes. Now, how long should you stay on a website? I wouldn't stay longer than three months. It, it, it does cost money. If you haven't had any results whatsoever, whatsoever after three months, then you need to go to another site. And there's nothing wrong with trying two or three at a time. Should you, if, if maybe stay on the same site but change your profile? Is that an idea? You can update your profile, your photo, you can test various things, you do whatever. So the key is, is that online dating, you're not, you're not the big loser, you're not desperate, you should go ahead and embrace it. I mean, it really is a sign of the times. Yes, and you can meet many more people that you would have never met, cross borders, cross international borders. I mean, that's amazing. It is, it's wonderful. Thank you so much for your advice, and that's Better Living. If you'd like to view recent Better Living segments or email me your ideas, visit NBC40.net and click on Better Living with Adrian.